Hello, Andy here. Today I will show you how to space out the magnet on the front wheel that holds the wheel together when the strider is collapsed. Uh, if you're looking to put fatter tires on, like the uh, Schwalbe Apple uh, tires, which are quite a bit thicker than the original. Um, with that, the magnets don't line up. There's a space created uh, and you can't hold the wheels together in the folded position. Uh, to start out with, we need a 6mm hex uh, key. I have a ratchet unit here. Take out the uh, button head uh, socket cap screw. The other side. The magnet is a little more difficult to get off because it holds on to the rim. To the mag magnetic force. This is the original washer that goes in between here. This washer is very important as it spaces the magnet which is the same size as the bearing away from the bearing so it doesn't touch the outer rim which needs to be able to move freely compared to the uh, inner part which is stationary on the axle. So we'll put that aside. There's also a little flat washer here which is underneath the uh, screw head and a little nylon washer inside here uh, which we don't want to lose. That will keep as is. So from there I'm using a slightly larger OD and slightly thinner uh, regular 5 16 or 8 millimeter flat washer stainless steel. Goes up against here, the bearing. Then I'm using a stack of five flat washers uh, these are fender washers with the same outside diameter as the magnet itself. I like to put the stamped sharp edges together. And like I said, there's five of them. Slide them on here. This brings the whole washer stack flush with the end of the axle protrusion. Now I'm using a uh, same sized outside diameter washer again but with a 6mm ID in order to go on top of the axle. This prevents me from having a space in between the magnet and the axle. What I'm looking to prevent is um, while I'm tightening the magnet on, if there's a space and I tighten it, there is the chance that I'm potentially loading the bearing, bearing sideways, uh, which will lead to excess wear on the bearing. It will wear out faster. So I have a longer bolt here, which is the same size as the original, of course, just uh, 10 millimeters longer. Put a little Loctite on it. I slide that through the magnet. Put my flat washers in behind the magnet. And then slide that on there. together center it a little bit because it's not over the axle stem anymore the bolt is not as thick as the hole so it creates a spacing all the way around tighten it up and be careful the um, hex socket on the screw it's a little finicky if the uh, hex socket is not inserted properly or the hex key. Um, it can distort it and wear it out. Tighten it up and just gently. Doesn't need a lot of force. And that's it. And that creates the spacing for the extra thick tires, which uh, many have chosen to put on. Uh, I don't personally like to mess with the rear because of the uh, retainer, the magnet retainer. It needs to have a little movement, it needs to be able to move sideways as well as rotate. Uh, and I personally like this solution better, it spaces it out a little more, but no big deal. The uh, retainer is already quite a distance away from the rear wheel uh, and it keeps it simple. Uh, it just uh, has an upgrade for the front alone and the rear can stay as it is. Thanks for watching.